Hello Eagles, this is Miss Autry. I am here to um, share with you some resources that could help you with navigating through the map assessment. Okay, so the um, map test is something that students take three times a year. It's a growth assessment. Um, they take it in math and reading. And it is an assessment that we use for goal setting to see um, what progress students make from the fall all the way to the spring, and then what types of remediation or enrichment, um, reinforcement of standards do they need during their PLT um, class. So the first round of MAP assessments will take place the week of August 31st through September 3rd here at East. Um, I have created a folder inside the East Enrichment Hub group on Schoology, and it has several resources and information regarding the MAP assessment that may help, navigate th navig help you navigate through the MAP test. So here at East, our students are going to be testing with their advisory class. So everybody should have received um, a call with their contact um, for who their advisory teacher is. Now, the thing about advisory class is this is a um, group within Schoology. It is not a course. So the advisory class is who students are going to test with when they take this MAP assessment. So our calendar um, is broken up by grade level for the particular day that the testing is going to take place. So we are going to take um, the math test in the morning. So students will need to get logged on at nine o'clock. They may finish before 1130. Um, they may not. And, and that's OK. They have that time period to take the test. Um, ELA will then take place during the afternoon session. So from one o'clock to three o'clock. Um, on your designated grade level testing day, students will not meet for synchronous sessions. They are going to be taking their MAP assessment during that time. So if you want to um, practice taking the MAP test and make sure that um, you can get logged in and um, you know how to navigate through the test, you can use this web address here. So um, HTTPS semicolon backspace backspace practice dot map nwea dot org backslash okay you want to make sure that you are in chrome browser in in the chrome browser so um, this is important for taking the test for teams meetings for a lot of reasons you want to make sure that you are always using that chrome browser it just works well with most of the apps and software that we use so once you get logged into this practice test, um, the username is grow and the password is grow. If you are not sure how to set Chrome as your default browser, um, this video link um, will take you to um, a video that shows you um, how, to, how to do that. This is also, the video is also uploaded in the Enrichment Hub um, resource page as well. Okay, so taking the NWEA MAP test at home, what exactly is this going to look like for our students? So um, first thing we want you to do is if you have a chance to, um, to do the, the ready, readiness check, just to make sure that your laptop and your computer is good to go, um, this is the link for that. You want to open up your Chrome browser, um, and then this link right here, which again will be uploaded into the Enrichment Hub, um, that is a way for you to, to do a simple readiness check just to make sure that your browser and everything is ready to go. Okay. After you've gotten the clear with that, and you don't have to do this, you can go on and go to um, Schoology and get logged in, but this just helps with um, troubleshooting anything that may be wrong. So after you um, have done that and you're ready to go ahead and start the test, um, students are going to, to go to Schoology like they normally would. They are going to um, go to their advisory group. And in their advisory group, they're going to join on a Teams 
meeting. Okay, the team's meeting is going to allow them to have a proctor. So their advisory teacher is going to be proctoring students and have control over the test while they are taking the test. Okay, after they have done that, then they are going to log in to the actual NWEA map test. So if you are on an MMPS computer, students can find the link to that in their My MMPS folder and it's the find, um, or they need to find the map student test player. Okay, that's within the My MMPS folder, the map student test player. If you are on a personal computer and you don't have the My MMPS folder, then you can go to this link right here, test.mapnwea.org. Always make sure you're in that Chrome browser though. So from there, then students are going to enter their test session name and code from their advisory teacher. They're going to mute, mute their microphones and then they're going to wait for the teacher to, to say start. And we want them to take their time and do their best. So we want everybody to, um, to have access to taking this test in a quiet spot if all possible. And we want them to, um, to try their very, very best on this test because we want accurate scores. So again, if you um, are not sure about advisory, all students have in their Schoology, um, in the groups, here's the Enrichment Hub group that has a folder. If you go to the resources, there's a folder in there that's labeled NWEA map, all things you need to know. Um, click on that and there's resources in that. Then you have your, the students have their advisory group and it's um, the name of a university. Okay, so that's going to be their advisory group. When they click on their advisory group, there will be a live session link for them to join the team's meeting the day of the test. Okay, so hopefully this um, helps you guys in understanding what the map assessment is, um, helps you under to understand um, how to access the map assessment. If you have any questions, please reach out to your advisory teacher. Please join the Enrichment Hub. Um, we have resources on the school website and we wanna just make sure that everybody is set up for success.